What is going on guys, it's the Lords Gaming and welcome to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Now, I was watching someone play this on YouTube the other day and it looked really good and I have never fucking played this game in my life. Um, so I thought, fuck it, let's give it a go. Um, I have actually played a little bit, I am kind of fibbing. Um, I played through the tutorial bit, so I am just going to disable this tutorial and just say, fuck it, let's do it. Arthur Clarkey. of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Okay. Well, my first question is where the fuck are the Army, Navy, uh, RAF, you know, all these sort of people. But I'm going to go with Europe. Uh, purely because Europe is what you play in the tutorial thing, and they seem pretty cool, so we're going to be playing with Europe. Uh, we'll be oh, to Russia I for this one. didn't realize we were going to de deploy straight in. Indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay, so we got our job. Let's go kill some, go kill some aliens. Now, I usually don't like playing with Strike a one. this is central you are free to engage all hostile contacts I really, in the AO. I, I never really play on PC I'm definitely more of a PC gamer as you'll probably come to see because I yeah I'm shit when it comes to uh, PC games okay so I'm gonna uh, can I just press to you will overwatch please that'd be so nice can I get you uh, dashing up here? Also, I don't know how I flip the camera like that, but it's really annoying me. How do I flip it back? How do I flip it back? <laughs> oh god, that's really irritating. Uh, come on, just flip round. Oh, wait. Nailed it. Now let's look down a little bit. Look, th look down. There we go. Nailed it. Like I'm a professional. Now, can I just hit two? Oh, oh god, doesn't like you going towards the edge of the map. That's quite annoying. We'll have you dash on up there as well. Now, let's see if the alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Okay, he's in full cover, so he should be fine. What are you gonna do? Yo. 
you're also going to fire. Okay, so they use... The way I understand it is that you get two turns. This is the first turn where you can move around. And then your second turn you can either shoot, overwatch, or use one of my abilities down here. Or I can do that on the first as well. Um, I think... What I might get you to do is perhaps dash over here. Yeah. Uh, now let's swap to you right here. Let's get you to move up there. And then we'll put you into Overwatch. Really annoying me how this thing keeps popping up. Uh -huh. How do I disable the tutorials? <laughs> I thought I disabled the tutorials. Uh, edit options. Gameplay. Enable all to save. Show enemy health. Enable third person camera. Show actions. Interface. Mouse and keyboard. I don't know. I'm not going to play with that. Fuck that shit. Okay, let's move you up here. And then we will... Uh, I guess we can overwatch you. This is just in case they move, decide to move. Ah, uh, that's a dashing. Which means I'm not going to have any... I kind of... I kind of want to get him to move up there. So he's got like a clear shot. So we're just going to get him to move on up. Um, got some full cover there that you can move into, dude. How's your line of sight, by the way, dude? Ah, oh, 65%. Go for it. One down. One down. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Oh, God. Okay, we got a guy going up top, and another one ran over the... Oh, no, he's, he hasn't gone up top. He's just gone around for some reason. Okay, let's tab until we get this guy, and let's see his... Okay. How do I back out of that? No. Okay, let's tab to her and see her. So it looks like I got a 45% chance or a 45% chance. Adjusting sights. So one of them is missed. Now let's get you up over here, because there's a guy up over there, isn't he? So let's just overwatch you. Why do I have to overwatch my pistol? X. Uh, now let's overwatch. Okay. So this guy's also got a shot. So let's sh Ooh, what about grenade, actually? How far can we get that grenade? Hello? <laughs> Would you like to throw the grenade? Please? Batter up. Commander, you may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. Why? While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Uh, I see. Just something to consider. Oh god, he's overwatched. Uh, I'm not too sh His line is... Yeah, that car exploded. That was pretty neat. What's your... Sh no available targets. Okay. So if he can't see me... If I can't see him, he can't see me, basically. Let's get you got moved up here. Oh, wait. Uh, this guy's overwatched. We're back here. Okay. But the other, oh no, now he's gonna overwatch. Lucky enough, they both missed, which is brilliant. And he's also set a car on fire, which is pretty cool. Uh, now I can't do anything more with you. The cover is so sparse in this one. Right. You give him some backup because they. They have uh, already used the Overwatch. What's your percentage chance of hit? Only 25. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. 
Okay, let's move her over here. And we will just overwatch her. Okay, so if I kill this guy here, he will die as well because they are psychically linked. But whilst he's psychically linked, he gets a buff, so that is definitely going to do some damage there. Okay. So it looks like you have a turn in order to get your men away from the burning. The burning. So let's just get him back there because he's injured. You. You would like to. If I move you up there, what's your shot like? 70%. Okay, go for it. And he's dead. And he should also die. Nice. Okay. So we only took one lot of that. Which is good. standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Okay, so we got excellent across the board, which is always good. Now we head back to the base, which is like the coolest part of the game because having a base in like one of these games is just this is what like mainly attracted me to this game. Okay. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold: providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Okay, so this is our base. This is what we get to oversee. Uh, oh, 13 days, shit. And he got promoted to a heavy as well. Okay. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Right. The assault class Got a serves as our front line. as well, the which is sweet. Into a fight, okay. The last one's out. So sadly, our guy is wounded for 13 days. Of a um, but without sufficient training, which is they're vulnerable in close combat which is situations. quite bad. Uh, I'm going to get. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Okay, so we're going to go to the research. Research. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Okay, so basically this is where we get our new tech. Uh, we're going to start a new research product and we are going to go for... Which one is it? This one here, because this will give us the uh, uh, body armor. I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. But sometimes we have to use it. Okay, right, let's go to engineering because we need to. Ah, Commander, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. I don't know what they're fabricating Speaking because which, we haven't made Dr. anything. Dr. has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. No worries. Uh, buy and build. We have a med kit. We're going to buy. Uh, I think I'm going to manufacture two of those for the time being. We'll submit the order for there. Uh, satellites. Now, they are very useful. Um, we will be go we'll be using those a lot, I think. I can't go into the situation room, apparently. Yay. Okay, well, in eight days we've got the material research done. So Commander let's to mission control. Oh, no. Commander now to I mission can, control. Now I can go to mission control. Let's uh, scan for some activity and see what pops up. Uh, what we got? An abduction. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests okay. for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Okay, 
So now this what the what it would do is give you like a multiple of options and then the reward it's always different. So we have 200 200 cash four scientists. Hmm. 200 cash or four engineers. From what I'm th seeing, scientists seem to be the like a pretty good thing to have. Uh, we've got a rookie coming with us as well. Uh, but I think we're gonna edit you. Go back. Go to her loadout and we will get rid of that and give her a med kit. Yeah, I know, one max per soldier. Clicked it once, thank you. Uh, we will also give a med kit to this lady here. So, we have got Smith, Medina, Medi, Medi yeah, Medina, Cook, and Molokov. Molokov? Molokov. I think Smith is the English guy. So, let's go. Let's go and try and do this mission. Not sure how well it's going to go, but screw it. Okay. Let's go. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. Okay. So, sweep the abduction site and identify threat, neutralize all ta hostile targets. So, it's basically like the first mission. Um, there are some different types of missions as well. Well, I've only seen one. Which was like a bomb one, which was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, let's orders. get moving. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Uh, Strike one has the green light for deployment. You can just wait, wait. You can just Overwatch, and you, you can take a dashing leap forward. So that cover there. What I generally like to do is split two people up because the edge of the map is over here. And over here, oh, there's quite a lot in that way. Hmm. Okay, what I'll do is I'll send these guys up this way, and then I'll send two, two people this way. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get him dashing over here. Okay. What have we got via cover this way? Not a lot, and there's quite a long shoot range there, so I'm gonna get her to dash over there. And what we'll do is, on her first move, we will peek into here. Enemy spotted. Okay, so we have our first bunch of enemies. I don't think they can shoot us from there. So we now know where some enemies are. I don't know what hey, this is you even. Anything? Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get her to move back round, flank back round this way. Uh, we're gonna get this guy to open up the door. Eyes on target. And there's two guys in there. Okay, so that doesn't cost an action, which is really cool. Uh, where are they? One guy there. That guy there. So maybe if we go here and we go into Overwatch, and then this guy, what's we'll get him to move here? And then what's your shot like? Because they have snipers have a higher chance to hit when they are further away, which kind of makes sense because they are a long long range support character. So let's have a little have a little pop shot. I cannot fire this weapon in the same time. I did not know that, actually. Um, well, let's get you to Overwatch then. Let's uh, swap you to pistol and Overwatch you. Right. Overwatch you. There we go. Now, let's see what these guys are going to do. I reckon... Oh, no. He's going to Overwatch. Okay. This guy over here. He's going to get Psycho. So, he's going to have probably going to have a pop shot. I reckon. 
Yeah, so he's taken out the side of the building and also set that car on fire. Which is bad, because it looks like cars on fire will explode on the next turn. What are you? You're my assault lady, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get you. Let's get you to dash over here. That that. It's a very non-tactical way of doing it, but okay. Okay. Now let's see if this guy's got a shot. Uh. Oh, no. One sec. Go back. And swap you. And now go in for the shot. And headshot. Might as well. That's not how you aim a sniper, dude. Oh, we've got one of them. Which is good. Which is good. And then you. Let's move you forward. He missed, luckily, which is cool, and took away some of his own cover. Now, I don't think I have a shot, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hunker down, which will double the defense of that, and you, I think I'm going to start breaching. Uh, there's not much cover, though, is there? Let's go here. Let's get it to charge through, jump over, and take cover there. So this car is going to explode. Just gonna blow a nice little hole in the side of the building. Then this guy's gonna psychic, psychic link, because I'm guessing he's gonna have a pop shot through the window at my character. No, he's gonna move forward and then take a pop shot. I'm guessing. Okay, he missed anyway, so that's fine. This guy is going to move forward, and I'm guessing he's gonna shoot him. Which is gonna hit him sadly. But it's okay, it's just the rookie. Okay, now what I wanna do is I wanna tab to you and I wanna move you. I kinda wanna get her on top. Let's get her dashing up over there. Because if she's at top, then she can pop shot down at uh, the guy on the very left. And then you should have another clear shot. Yeah, go for it. You should that if that if he misses, there we go. Okay, so we've got another another alien down. So now we can start moving back towards back towards this way to help support this guy. Open up. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I meant to open it. I pressed the open button, but it didn't work. Okay. So I'm gonna overwatch. Uh, actually, let's see what her shot chance is. A 54% chance. You know what? Go for it. I missed. Adjusting sight. Which is fine. Okay, so I'm guessing he's gonna link again. Yeah, and then he's gonna have another couple of pop shots at me. Oh no, he's gonna move first, and then overwatch. Okay, which is cool. So now if we go up, if we move her here, what's your shot like? A 79% chance. This could be it. Come on. Yes. And then that is going to kill him. Boom. And it is over. Mission accomplished. Nice. Excellent. Across the board again. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So now we've got four scientists from that, which is fucking brilliant and now hopefully they should tell me to launch some satellites commander to the situation room commander to the situation room okay so it looks like Dennis Cookie has been uh, has been promoted to a support just like it sounds the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need they make everyone around them better okay sweet so she now has smoke grenades. Deploy smoke grenade once per mission. The smoke uh, covers uh, adds 20 to our defense to all units, not just aliens. 
and last through the enemy's turn, which is pretty handy if we know that we're going to take some damage. Now, we did get one guy wounded. Sadly, he's going to be out for eight days, um, which is kind of sad, but at least we now have a support guy on our team, and we got some steroid corpses, uh, sectoid sex corpses. Commander uh, to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. Okay, so we can build a new, we can build a new uh, facility. Now the guy, the big boss, is going to have a little chat with us. We will be in touch, Commander. Okay. So now I'm hoping every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. Okay. So we should plan our deployments carefully. We have some high. I just did a mission in Mexico. Why are they? Was it Mexico? I think it was Mexico. <laughs> Pretty sure it was Mexico. Actually, no, wait, it might have been Brazil. Mm. Okay, right. Let's. Uh, okay, I gotta remember how to. I'm receiving you. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. That only gives me 50 per month. France gives me 80 plus free scientists. However, I wouldn't mind just getting it like some engineers coming in as well. Okay. I reckon we go France on this one. Get free scientists, launch a satellite. And now, sadly, we are all out of uh, satellite power. But if I believe, if I go in here and I go you build the system, I really want to expand our facilities. We're I going need to have to start excavating beneath the base. Need Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. I need more uh more more engineers. Okay, so we need to be doing quest uh, missions for engineers and stuff like that. So we know what we're looking for. Um, anything else I can do right now? I promoted that guy. I've got that guy. Let's expand our event list. Uh, operational over France. Council report. Plus we've got a couple of guys coming back in. Um, right now I don't think there's a lot that I can do. I don't think so anyway. So I think we're going to end this part right here. Now as I said I, I have played the tutorial. And that is all I've played. I don't really know much about this game. You never know. I might be doing stuff completely wrong. Um, but if you have played this game, do let me know down in the comments. Because I am very interested to see, uh, to learn about this game. Because it does actually seem like a really, really fun game. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been The Laws of Gaming. And this was XCOM Enemy Unknown.